people aren't familiar with her yet. And so they're trying to get to know her and her temperament and also get to know her credentials and is she actually qualified. I would think that the McCain campaign would have hoped to ride that initial uh, burst of she's a, a, an out-of-the-box choice, shows that he's a, a maverick thinker, uh, and ride that kind of positive wave of publicity. And, and while the cynics might say that they planned to accuse the media and the Democrats of sexism, they probably didn't plan to do it this quickly, plan to have to do it this quickly. She has to give a, um, a strong speech to show that she can do the traditional vice presidential thing of uh, be the, the sort of attacking side of the ticket. She has to, and, and tonight is supposed to be the red meat night where they really go after, all the speakers really go after Obama. She has to show, she has to project an image of strength and credibility where people say, okay, I can see her as president. If, if heaven forbid it should come to that, we feel comfortable with that. It's not in her interest to get into the, the negative stuff and it's not in her interest to you know, play the, the media's being mean to me game. She, she needs to go out there and, and look at least vice presidential. She'll express some positives about herself while going, I would think, strong after Barack Obama. I think that uh, Obama's got it right that, that basically family is off, li off limits. Um, I think that the attacks against the media have been uh, somewhat overblown because it is a good way to make the base, uh, get the base excited to say the media hates us and look at how the media is trying to destroy our candidate. How do you think this will affect the uh, field of presidential politics uh, over the course of the next four or eight years? very, uh, well, I, I, how, it, how it affects over the course of the next four to eight years will in large part depend on how it affects over the course of the next few months. I don't think people, I think very few people will vote for tickets. People will vote for Barack Obama or people will vote for John McCain. There'll be very few people that will say, you know, I was going to vote for Barack Obama, but then Sarah Palin was the number two on the McCain ticket, and that caused me to switch my vote. Or, or people who will say, I was going to vote for John McCain, but Sarah Palin caused me to switch my vote. A little bit at the margins, not a lot. In the end, two weeks from now, we'll be talking about Obama and McCain again, not so much Palin. I think that, I think that polls are pretty much meaningless, at least until, until at least mid-September, if not October. So no forecast. I <laughs> no, no forecast. Okay. My forecast is for campaigns. I think that most I think that most Hillary supporters will will end up looking beyond gender, and people who were Hillary Clinton supporters, the Hillary Clinton issue set and the Sarah Palin issue set don't line up at all, and I think that most people will say, you know what, I I. The issues are more important to me than the symbolism.